All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're continuing working on the RV. Last time we got a lot of our work done on the RV. Now we're ready to work on the front nose and start doing some body work. So we got the front clip inside the shop, so it's gonna be a lot easier to work on inside than outside. So we got a little bit of fiberglass repair we gotta do on it. It's got cracks, it's got fiberglass damage on the bottom and probably some stress cracks all around it. So it'll be a lot easier to do it inside, get it done. Hopefully we'll get this thing, some fiberglass resin on it, some body filler, primer, and then we're gonna be painting it. And um, what, what color are we painting, guys? You know, we like to do a color swap. You know. So oh boy. Leave us a comment down below what color we should go with this RV. I'm thinking like yellow or orange. You know, like a bright color. You know, if you see a bright RV going down the road, it's easier to get pulled over. No, I'm just kidding. But no, we definitely want to do a color swap. I mean, this color is kind of basic. You know, what's the point of rebuilding an RV and then go the same color? You know, the rest of it's kind of faded. We're gonna have to you know, clear it. And I don't like the stickers, you know, I like a nice clean RV with no stickers on it. So I'm really thinking about doing a color swap. I got an idea. Michael doesn't like my idea, but we'll see. But leave us a comment down below. Should we go like red, like a Ferrari red, an orange, a lime green, a white, yeah, there you or go. black? Some more realistic. Let's, let's calm down here, guys. RV. But first, let's do some body work. Let's get this thing knocked out. Maybe we'll go to a paint store, you know, change some colors. Who knows? But uh, let's get straight to work. Enough talking and get done. All right, so Michael had a really good idea. And we had our cab bed frame thing. We put it on that really quick. And now we're off the ground. We can move this thing around. It'd be a lot easier to move around inside the shop. So next thing I want to do, we got some fiberglass repair we got to do right here. So we're going to get the grinder, we're going to grind it down, put some fiberglass, some sheeting on there, let that start and cure. While that's going to cure, we're going to do other stuff. So let's get that sanded down, put some fiberglass resin on it, and go from there. So about an hour later, feels like the resin is fully cured. So let's get the DA. We're gonna DA this probably with 80 or 40. And then we're gonna put some body filler on it and see how it shapes out. Should be pretty easy.
So just like that, we got it all primered up. We got a body filler in there. We got primer. It's looking good. We're gonna let this dry. It's getting pretty late. So we're gonna let it dry overnight and we'll catch you guys in the morning when we start. All right, so we came in this morning, we put some spray foam down, we shaved it down, so now it's gonna be nice and flat, and we got insulation, which is really good. Next thing I wanna do is start putting panel bond between this and the metal. So we're gonna do this little repair right here, and panel bond this whole piece. And then we'll be ready for some body work. So let's get straight to it. All right, all right, got that sanded. Need to go ahead and take off my headlights. I'm working on my stickers. The ones that came off with the steam came off pretty good, but these front ones are like really baked in, so they're just ripping. I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel them. Not wire them, <laughs> rubber wheel them. So basically a big old eraser wheel. Kind of the same idea as using a pencil. Really, really fast and just erase my problems. So that's what that is. Hopefully that'll work out good. Same thing on this side. But yeah, moving forward, definitely gotta take off my little light since it's melted anyway. <laughs> Working forward, getting this thing ready for prepped for paint.
All right, all right. I got a D-trim, everything removed that I want to get off. Little thing I'll probably tape off right there. Now, next step is go ahead and scotch bright it, scuff it up, get some scuff stuff. Basically giving it a nice, deep, clean prep for the sealer and then paint. Step by step, man, it's a big old face. But we got it on the palette, this little homemade stand that we're doing and we just got to move it around, it's nice. Portable, getting it done. Alright guys, new delivery, our glass is here. Alright guys, so there it is, our front glass, definitely a crucial piece that we need for the project. Honestly, this thing costs more than our parts RV that we got, so it's pretty crazy, but hey, it's brand new, we got all the gaskets in there. We checked it out, it's not cracked, not chipped, nothing like that, so that's good. It definitely made a long journey over here. It took us like four guys to unload it, it's kind of heavy, but hey, we got it off. We got it here and it's ready for whatever we need to get paint and stuff done. So don't need it right now, but it's nice to know that we have it and it won't slow us down and won't stop the build. So that's good. But let's get back to the build. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the front hood. Basically take this thing apart, get that chrome piece off, little brackets, and get this thing ready for paint as well. Let's get it done.
All right, so it started raining outside, so we got this thing inside. We got the body filler sanded down, and I put a nice coat of primer on it. So we're gonna let this sit and dry. And the next thing I wanna do is actually paint the front cliff. So let's go in the paint booth, and we already got the paint. Let's get straight to it. We got it wiped down, clean, tack cloth, and this thing is ready for the color. And the first thing before we put the base coat on, we're actually gonna put sealer on, because it's like a gel coat kind of thing, and we don't want nothing to fade through, nothing like that. So we're definitely gonna put like two good coats of sealer on this thing, and then we'll finally show you the color. Pretty cool, pretty big, and then we got this front grill. So we took off the insert. I think we might paint the insert a different color. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and mix up the sealer and get some coats down. gonna go for a pearl white you've heard like the black pearl this is gonna be the white pearl for sure it's gonna look really nice standing out unique one of a kind limited edition pearl white Vegas yeah for sure so check it out we got the base paint right here two gallons basically again one-to-one reducer so that's a lot the supplies has not cheap but I think it's gonna be worth it a whole gallon of pearl I see a lot of pearl it's gonna shine dang it's good it's gonna be good like I said, definitely unique. I think we paid over a thousand dollars just for paint supplies. So I mean, we're painting a lot, so we need a lot of yeah. material. But it's definitely gonna look sick. I mean, it already looks way better than it was. It looks way more modern, I guess. Yeah. And different, you know, because we can't have anything soft. I mean, since we're putting all this work into it anyway, it's only seven thousand miles on it. Might as well make a brand new looking for sure. But let's go ahead and this is for a sealer I put on there. Let the sealer dry, flash, and then we're gonna put the base coat, probably two to three coats of base, and then probably four coats of pearl. Wow. And then two coats of pearl. I mean, uh, clear, maybe three coats. So we'll see. Nice, let's get it.
guys, just like that, I even got the pearl white on there, and man, it is looking good. Wow, honestly, I can't wait for the whole van to be, <laughs> RV to be like this color. It's gonna definitely stand out. That's a whole lot of pearl white, you know, both sides. It's gonna be a huge billboard of, you know, pearl white van, I mean, RV. Yeah, it's getting late, guys, sorry. But honestly, really happy with it. Let's go ahead and get the clear coat on there and make this thing pop even more. It's gonna shine and just let it sit. Don't touch it and let it cure. Wow, really cool. Honestly, turning out a lot better than I thought it would. It's not like we had a game plan from the beginning. We just said we need to knock it out and get it done, and that's what's happening. And kind of chose a pearl white color, and not regretting it so far. Looking nice. I mean, leave us a comment down below. Did we make the right decision? Are there a lot of pearl white RVs out there, especially Vegas's pearl white? I don't know. I haven't seen any, so that'd be cool. All right, let's get that clear coat on there. Wow guys, what a transformation getting that clear coat on there. For sure, everything's like popping now. It honestly, it still looks wet, but it's the next morning, so it's all dry. It looks soft. I mean, it's just, I love all the contours of it and the pearl white, oh yeah. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful RV for sure. I mean, it's pretty crazy. We got, we got two coats of base on there and then two coats of the white, and then four coats of the pearl and then two more coats of clear. That's like two, four, six, eight, or I don't know how many bases, you know? four stage kind of thing as compared to the single stage that they used to do just paint clear one time that's it they're done so definitely putting a lot more into it for the paint job hopefully a lot it'll last a lot longer than their usual two to three years with the other stuff because that fades away so so much it's like man you can see the difference in the stickers and or the faded and not faded thing but let's take one of these pieces outside and check it out in the sun and see what it looks like <laughs> dang guys this thing is like a mirror wow it is beautiful but i, I can't even imagine what the whole rv is going to look like it's going to be like a Big old white snowball, pearl white coming at you. <laughs> but wow, that is gorgeous. Woo wee, we'll see, nice. But that's all the time we have guys. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you stay tuned. We are gonna get this RV painted soon, so stay tuned, because there's a lot of prep work ahead of us, and hopefully a beautiful paint job coming soon. So make sure you hit the like button, share the video, and we'll see you next time.